Hey guys, uh, Sam back with you. Uh, Friday, January 19th. And I had a, uh, a member, a new member actually, interested in an update on Digibyte uh, to Bitcoin. Now, uh, here's the count that I've been working from. And just uh, just to be uh, consistent here, we'll go over to, uh, to CoinGecko. You can see 58 on the scale. It's a good looking project. 601 million of market cap. It's almost all exclusively to Bitcoin. And the bulk of it traded on Bittrex. We can see here 58% oh, oh, of it traded uh, on Bittrex. So I've got it up here. Uh, where did I put it here? So I've got it up here on, uh, this is the one hour. And so let me let me pull out so you can see where we've come. So I'll go to the back back to the four hours. So you can see we have the classic. If I get this aligned, you know here. I mean, how many coins have we seen this in crypto? Almost all the alts. The big pump, the big drop. We all we come all the way back to where we started, and now, you know, are are we potentially uh, getting started in a new trend? It certainly has the potential for that. So if you, I, the reason I like to do this is so you get a sense of where we could be going. Right? So if we're, if we're going to go back up and challenge these highs, we could, I've got this labeled here currently as a one wave, but this could just be a one of an even larger degree. Right? So a lot of upside is my, is my point. So if we put that in context, if this were to complete up here, we could have this and now I got to go to to a very big. So if I go up to primary, then you see it. So the possibility certainly is here that we're just putting in the one wave of the very largest degree before we go to you know to above and beyond these highs. You know, it's it's certainly possible. So we're, all I've done here is wick off the absolute lowest low that I could get as we start this new trend. And uh, we've done this coin before, so there's a little bit of review here. But let me let me go back to the hourly so we can get a handle on where we are and the process I went through here to get this count. So it does appear to me that we have completed a five wave structure and now we were in the correction of that. So it, it's very technical as it as it plays out. We get the, you know this is interesting here the the perfect uh, resistance offering the support. I have this as our one two up we go for the three ABC into the fourth and then we get this we get a, a, an ending diagonal. So in actual fact what we have here is a leading diagonal, which we would which we would anticipate in the one wave. So we have, you can see here, we get the overlap here. So here's our one, two, big three. We overlap the one, so we're in a leading diagonal, and we finish that leading diagonal with an ending diagonal, which is not, it's not terribly uncommon. So we can have an ending diagonal only in the fifth wave or a C wave. So the fact that we overlap here, we finish with here's the deep four up. We go for the five. You know, I mean, it certainly plays out from an Elliott context. So uh, the assumption is we've completed now a one wave. So all we're doing now is taking the absolute low, retracing a complete five wave structure. So we work from that low and just ticking right on it. If I can get it, there we, there we go. Right on it, we pull up to the high. And what have we done? Well, we've we've gone to and through the 50. We know a, a wave two can be anywhere from the 50 to the 786. So do we have a good pivot in here? You know, certainly there, there's a case to be made for that. It was very choppy up here putting in this, this ABC, but it looks like we have, you know, good completion down here. And it's, it's not the prettiest looking one wave, but the, so far this coin has been doing a lot of diagonals. So this, this doesn't shock me. Let's open it up a little bit more and see if there's anything else here we can glean from this. So we get this very kind of ugly A wave and then an A, B, and then we finish with this little spike up for the B here. And then we come down for our C. So we have a, we have a nice Elliott count on it. We get we get a, a little bit of help here for some market geometry. So that's that caught my attention. So here we're we're hovering around the median line. If I've got that, I don't have it right on there. There we go. So we we're two. We're hovering. We're through. We're at the 50. So there's there's an attempt here to support it. So very reasonable assumption and a, and a strong case to be made for that two being in. We can also just, again, looking for more confluence to confirm the pivot. So if I pull this over, you can see we went right into that box that we pay attention to between the 1618 and the 175. So that, you know, even though we, we spike through it, we, we then seem to hold. Now we've got this the median line potentially offering us support here as we start to move away for, from it. So with that, now, you know, we kind of have to dig in here a little bit, a little bit more. Let me zoom in on this a bit more. 
So it's it's spiky, it's choppy. I don't I don't love these long wicks, but it's it's technically viable. So we we get a, a one here. We get our we get an A. We get an expanded flat for a B wave. Right. So here's the one. A B with that little spike. Down we go for the two. That's technical. So if we check it, right, which you'd want to do, we would pull from the one to the two looking to be sure the three is not the shortest. So here's 100% the length of the one. So that, that confirms as a third shallow four, which we like. And then up we go for this kind of ugly sort of uh, looking fifth here. Looks like we double top there. Yeah, it's a perfect double top. So what we have here to finish this is a diagonal. So we, f so we come out of this if, if indeed we have a good low here, which I propose that we do. So if we have a good low, then all we've done now is put in the one wave, and it is a diagonal. So we've got a leading diagonal, and we're in the process of putting in the two. So let me lower that degree since we don't need it that high. So let's go down to um, go to minuet. Okay, so there we go. So that's a one potentially in. Oh, come here. So pulling from the low of it to the high of it. So all we've done now is just come to the 50. And we're kind of hovering there. We can see we get a little A, B, C. We come down, and there's the 50. Now, are we done here? You know, it's you know, too soon to call it, right? But that's certainly a reasonable spot to be getting long because you can be, you know, quite precise about where, you're, where you would be invalidated and what the potential upside is here. So if we're in the process here of putting in the, a low here where we would anticipate it here, we'd be looking for some algo buying here at the 50. So if we're going to get a one, two, then we're going for the third, right? The third, and see here on the larger degree, it's the two. So let me zoom back out. So we'd be going for the third of the first of the third. You see that? So on the very largest degree, right? Remember, remember when I showed you on the, when, I, when we went to the four hour, these, these could be, you know, there's a lot of upside potential here. So if this is one, two, <clears throat> We're expecting the third. We're expecting the third to subdivide. So it's it's very possible that within that third, all we're doing now is putting in a one. To, we're, we're trying to carve out the one of the third. So it would look like this. So we'd be going up here, change the color. And we'll go to, we'll go up one. We'll go to minor. Okay, do you see that? So we'd be trying to get the one, two, three, four to complete the one wave of the third wave and then anticipate the second up for the third of the third of the fifth or pardon me of the third right so it'd be one two this here would be the third <coughs> of the third that's your money making wave right there the third of the third but we don't know yet right now this is a good sign here we're getting a little reaction off of the 50 hopefully we get a little algo buying here maybe there's a little help from the oscillators you know, not a lot here, but, you know, that it wouldn't be unreasonable for this to not make it to the oversold here off of this second. But we want to allow for that to come down a little bit further. And certainly, so if you're, if you're looking to be a buyer here off of the 50, pretty straightforward. We could front run the 50. We've got some upside targets here. That's a reasonable target, negative 618. You could be either on the other side of the 786, knowing a 2 can go, as, can go that low. So if I take this off. And we just concentrate on where we are here. So we get decent risk reward. You can be on the other side of the 65 if you don't want to give it that much. You know, I always, you know, as you've heard me say many times, I'd rather take the small loser and then reevaluate rather than give it more room. You know, you could make the case that you'd need to give it room all the way below the pivot if it's going to hold as a 1-2. Then with, you know, upside targets here that are reasonable, even if you went to the negative 100, you're still only at r roughly 2.5 to 1. So I wouldn't give it that much. Max that I would give it would be on the other side of the 7 eight six now you're at four point five to one and I'm making the assumption <clears throat> if we're if we're a buyer at the fifty so if we look at that and, and put it in a wave relationship context if we're a buyer here here's the high probability zone for our third which is usually pretty close to the negative one hundred so if we if we pull up and say there's the one six one eight right so that's potentially our third so this all would move up if, if we're going to get there if we're going to get the, uh, pardon me, the 61875 box. So we'd be looking at that. So now we look there and we go, well, what do we got? We got 4.84 to 1. It's not bad. 4.84 to 1, right? That, that, you know, give it a little more room, give it a cushion. You know, you're anticipating the 65 to hold. You got a good upside target here, 4.84 to 1. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. 
right? And, and you know, this is a, a contender for a partial profit along the way, knowing that at some point you're going to get your four and then look to catch the five, all right? And then all of this, I can take this off here. All of this supports higher prices if we're going to stay in, in this pattern. So all we have here is a potential roadmap, certainly valid based on where we are in this structure. So if this holds, so here's what we're looking for. If this holds, there's an absolutely, that's that's great looking trade. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's a good looking trade. So we're right here. We've got the lower parallel, maybe for a little structural support. You'd want to see the 65 hold. Ideally, we don't we don't go down and challenge these lows, but understanding that that could be the possibility. We could have a, a more complex correction, but I wouldn't be anticipating it. So this is a reason you could be entering here right now as you look at this. You know, right? I don't know where it'll be by the time you look at it. Stop on the other side of the 65. So what's our risk reward? There's 6.2 to 1. Right, nice. This, you know, again, the idea is t the little loser here. You know, I, that that shouldn't bother you. I mean, that's just part of trading. If it doesn't happen there, then you reevaluate. Say, okay, wh where's my pivot? Can I get a good technical pivot? We come back at it again. You know, you you could take two or three swings at it here. If if you eventually get on board and we get up to our one six one eight, you know, you're well compensated. I mean, you could take three losers along the way there and still make some money here. So maybe it's a front, you know, you, you, so if you're thinking about X percentage of your account into that, maybe you put half at the 50, half at the 618, and a tight stop on the other side of it. All right? if you're a buyer at the 618, that's even better. I mean, of course, you risk not getting filled if you're just trying to sit with your entry at the 618 and you're tight on the stop, the, the target doesn't change, right? Of course, the target doesn't change. Now you've got 6.7 to 1 with a stop on the other side of the 78 or 78.6. So you could tighten that up a little bit. There's 6.89 to 1. So maybe the first bite here is at the 50 with, an, with you see, save a little in reserve for the 618. Stops on the other side. So you average down your, your entry price, your total entry. Stops here. Up you go. If you get stopped out, you reevaluate. Right? It's as simple as that. Okay, guys, I'll wrap it there.